Welcome back into another episode of Raw. Tonight we'll be kicking it off with Raw General Manager Eric Bischoff. He's walking with a, a different kind of swagger tonight. I wonder if that's because there's the massive main event of Becky versus Ronda, or it's because he's got something interesting to say with his announcement. Bischoff referring to his 83 week streak in the 90s. Whoa, that's a big, big announcement by Eric Bischoff. Controversial, maybe, but it's still a huge announcement. The actual will be get underway right now with the finals of the number one contenders tournament and Shinsuke Nakamura, who got here by beating The Miz last week. And he'll be looking to punch his ticket to WrestleMania's backlash and a shot against Seth Rollins. Nakamura will be facing this man right here, Finn Balor. Well, that's Balor's music, but 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 Balor's nowhere to be found. What's this? Balor is injured backstage. Bischoff is not happy about this. You, you have to think it could have only been one person. Oh, it looks like Sheamus has weaseled his way into the finals of this tournament. And here comes Sheamus now. He was beaten fair and square by Finn Balor two weeks ago. And it should have been Balor in the finals. But it looks like Sheamus has forced his way into the finals and will be taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. The bell sounds and the finals are underway. Sheamus comes flying out of the corner and nails Nakamura with a clothesline. Sheamus will look to continue the attack. Looking for a scoop slam and he's hit it. Nakamura prepared for Finn Balor and, Sh and Sheamus seemed to have this whole thing scouted out. Now with a DDT on Nakamura. Sheamus is really taking it to the King of Strong style. Now looking for a choke slam, sit out, a sit out choke slam. Big move by Sheamus. He's going to go for the pin as well. But he doesn't have Nakamura and Nakamura is able to kick out at two. Not the start that Shinsuke Nakamura wanted. But here we go. Now he's reversed Sheamus. Hit him with a kick. Couple of strikes back to back. Sending the big man to the corner and nailing a couple more than a couple strikes to the midsection. Oh, and Shinsuke could be looking for it right here. And that's classic Shinsuke Nakamura getting the crowd into it. So I wonder what's going through the mind of Shinsuke Nakamura, who's preparing for a much smaller opponent. Oh, but size doesn't matter there as Nakamura hits a huge German suplex. But it has to, it has to play something into the psyche of Shinsuke Nakamura. Sheamus blocking a strike and hitting one of his own. A couple of his own here. For Nakamura gets out of the way and he's back in control. And Nakamura hitting a power slam. So far, uh, Nakamura equaling out the, the, the size that uh, advantage that Sheamus has. Now hitting, uh, Sheamus ducking a kick but then being caught with the back heel kick. Nakamura looks to continue on a big knee strike. Before an axe kick to the back of the head, well, Nakamura's going to go for the win here. Will this be enough? And Sheamus kicks out at two. So far, very back and forth match. As uh, if, if you're just tuning in, it was supposed to be Nakamura versus Balor, but a heinous attack to Balor backstage as Sheamus in the finals instead. Well, look at this. Nakamura with a, with a head kick, and then he's going for a classic Nakamura move. We haven't seen that too often. The sliding German suplex. Could that be enough? Sheamus just able to kick out. That was a close, close near fall for, for Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura looked to continue, but that strike did nothing to Sheamus. 
as he comes through with a huge forearm shot to Nakamura. Oh, and then a big knee off the jaw, sending Nakamura over the top rope. I'm not sure if Sheamus should be taking this time to celebrate as uh, a shot at Seth Rollins is on the line here in the finals of the number one contenders tournament. Sheamus will continue to take it to Nakamura outside, throwing him off the, the barricade and then back into the ring. What's Sheamus going for here? Oh, big European uppercut takes Shinsuke Nakamura off his feet. And setting him up for a suplex. Not just the suplex. Look at the strength by Sheamus here. He's hoisting Nakamura over his head. It's been minimum 10 seconds so far. And then finally delivering the boom. Will that be enough? Sheamus going for the cover. But Nakamura again able to kick out. But that stalling suplex has Sheamus in control. Oh, what's he going for here? Is he looking for white noise? He is. And he's hit it. This could see Sheamus advance and get the number one. Con no, Nakamura kicks out at one. Sheamus must be losing it right now. Nakamura with a big statement and a kick out of the white noise at one. Sheamus can continue the attack. You know he's got some further, some further weapons, but uh, he must be rattled to have Nakamura kick out at one. Oh, now Nakamura reversed. Oh, and look at the King of Strong Style looking for some heavy kicks to the chest of Sheamus. They just keep coming in. And nails the head kick. And no, not going for the not going for the pin. What's he doing here? Could he be setting him up? For the Kinshasa, and he's nailed it! Will Sheamus be able to kick out of this? He won't, and Shinsuke Nakamura is the winner of the number one contenders tournament. Oh, and just like that, Seth Rollins! It's the champion taking out the number one contender, barely giving Shinsuke Nakamura a moment to celebrate. And he's hit Nakamura with a pedigree. Wow, not, uh, not the actual becoming of a champion. He's laying it in verbally now to Shinsuke Nakamura, and he's not done yet. Is he looking? Oh, it looks like Seth Rollins going for the stomp. And he's crushed Nakamura with the stomp. Seth Rollins showing that he's in charge here. He's the Raw champion. And uh, we're in for a big main event at WrestleMania Backlash. Next up, we have Liv Morgan in action. Who suffered a loss last week to Shayna Baszler, but it wasn't a clean finish. As Liv Morgan seemed to be able to kick out of everything Baszler had to offer until the ref was distracted and Baszler hit a massive punch with the brass knucks to the jaw of Liv Morgan. Thankfully, she's okay and she's looking to get back in the win column here. Morgan's opponent tonight, Maya T. Kirk making her Raw debut. Her WWE debut, actually. Liv Morgan comes flying out of the corner, hitting a, a Hurricane Rana takedown. She's for sure not in a good mood after the way she lost last week. And uh, unfortunately, it might be Maya T. Kirk who's on the receiving end of that frustration. Next up is a spinning head scissor takedown by Morgan. We'll see if uh, if Maya can get any kind of offense in on, uh, on Liv Morgan, who just continues her attack now with a takedown. She's looking to send Maya over the ropes and hit her with a spear off the apron. Liv Morgan not messing around today. And she's headed up to the top rope. And it's a huge front missile dropkick taking Maya T. Kirk to the barricade, but didn't take her down. Maya reverses the strike. Could she look for one of her own and live back in control already? Liv's going to send Maya back into the ring. Look to continue the attack. Hits a jawbreaker now. Liv just take it right to Maya, not messing around today at all. Sends her to the corner. Stomping on over, looking for a couple, well, couple a couple chops. More than a couple chops. Three chops, and then what's she going for here? A back hip thrust into the corner. Morgan in complete control in this match.
just tossing the bigger opponent across the ring. Liv Morgan showing some great strength, and she showed, she showed great determination last week, being able to kick up almost everything that Shayna Baszler threw at her. But she is 0-1 at the moment, but looking to change that right now with a second row bulldog taking Maya off her feet. She looks like she's in trouble. In trouble. Liv Morgan could, uh, could be signaling the end here. What's she going for? She's going to drag Maya over to the rope. She could be setting her up for that, that uh, top rope assisted complete shot, which she is. She nails it, and I think this one's over. Thanks for coming out, Maya, but I think you're going to be getting your first loss. And there it is, Liv Morgan, the winner. She's in the win column. And good for her to get uh, to get back on the winning ways after suffering her first loss from Dirty Tactics by Shayna Baszler. And now it's time for the big main event, as it's going to be Becky Lynch taking on Ronda Rousey for a shot at Raw Women's Champion Asuka. Becky just thought she was going to have uh, her, her rematch handed to her, but Bischoff said no, she's going to have to earn it. And it's going to it's gonna be a tough one as she's been facing someone who's been looking to get her hands on her for a while in Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Rousey making her Raw debut, or her, her Raw debut under Eric Bischoff, and she's wasting no time. She's coming directly down to the ring, and she does not look like she is in a good mood at all. This is a big money matchup. I wonder how this one's going to go. Ronda coming right out of the corner, hitting Becky Lynch with a, with a clothesline. Picking up, hitting, hitting a big slam on Lynch and just laying in the boots. Ronda Rousey not messing around at all and Becky Lynch needs a timeout. Ronda signaling to Becky to get back in the ring and Becky will oblige. Looks for a strike. Ronda ducks and just continues laying in strikes on Becky. Irish whip to the corner, right in the back, taking Becky down. It's been all Ronda so far. Hitting a judo flip, that's a signature Ronda right, Ronda move right there, and she's going for the pin. You can only get a two though out of out of Becky Lynch. Becky finally blocking a strike and getting in some offense of her own now. A couple slaps right across the face, then a drop kick has Ronda finally off her feet. Becky Lynch sending Ronda to the corner now. A springboard drop kick that's going to send Ronda to the outside. Becky going to follow her out there. What's she going to do now? Sending Ronda into the barricade. Looking to continue the offense. Oh, but Ronda not messing around. Blocking a strike there. And sending Becky into the barricade herself. Oh, fell into the steel ring post. Ronda is not in a good mood tonight and she's looking to regain one of the WWE Women's Championships but uh, she'll have to beat Becky first not looking to go for the pin after that assault outside but can only manage a two count This back and forth matchup continues now with, with uh, Becky reversing Ronda. Then a massive forearm strike takes Rousey off her feet. Now it's Lynch's turn to just lay in, lay in some kicks, lay in some shots while Ronda's on the ground. And then hits a big exploder suplex. Becky not done. She looks sending Ronda into the corner. This time it's Ronda going in hard, coming straight down. Becky looking for a butterfly suplex this time, and she hits that as well. Becky finally in control. Could this be enough? Not, not even a two as Ronda kicks out at one. And now the rowdy one is back in control, hitting a big combination there on Becky, and then a massive kick. That has Lynch stunned, but only down for a two. Now it's Ronda Rousey on the attack, hitting a gut wrench power bomb. You know that couldn't feel good, and she's going for it. It looks like she's going for Piper's Pit, and she's hit it. 
Ronda could be the number one contender right here. Go for the pin, Ronda. And she does. One, two. Oh, and Becky just kicks out. That had to have been 2.99. That was so close to a three. Becky Lynch looks for some reversals now, hitting some strikes of her own. And then a drop kick finally takes Ronda down. Becky sends Ronda to the corner. What's she looking for? Because she's setting up Ronda for a suplex. I think she is. Both women to, to their feet. And Becky nails a huge superplex. She needed that after taking the Piper's Pit from Ronda and just being able to kick out. Becky went for the cover and just got a two. I think that uh, momentary delay before going to the cover may have cost her there. What's Becky setting Ronda up for? Oh, looks like it could be the Man Slam. And she's hit it. Becky could be number one contender. This has to be it. And then Ronda with a kick out of her own. Two massive near falls, each for, uh, each for one of these competitors. This main event will continue. Oh, Becky has just pushed Ronda and has taken out the referee. And the action is going to spill to the outside with the referee down. These two just trading shots outside. Becky throwing Ronda. She's going to fall into the corner. Becky just stalking Ronda and hits her with a shoulder tackle. But, oh, Becky looking for a chair. Take advantage while the rest down. She's going to blast Ronda with this chair. Wait, Shayna Baszler, what's she doing here? Her and Ronda are longtime friends. I guess she's not uh, not letting Becky do it that way. She can walk over and check on Ronda. Oh, but she nailed Ronda with the brass knucks. What is going on here? What is what is Shayna Baszler doing as Becky Lynch is just in disbelief? The ref is back up on his feet. Not this way, not this way. Becky Lynch rolls over a lifeless Ronda Rousey. Becky Lynch is the number one contender and she'll get another shot at Asuka with a big, big help from Shayna Baszler. Was that a premeditated attack? We, uh, we don't know, but what we do know is Becky Lynch is your new number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. That'll do it for this episode and thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.